Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. And that is a very dilapidated uh, Victorian house there. And that's a farm in one of the country sides in Dufferin. Hi, how are you today? Um, it's going to be spring soon and I'm excited to get some warm weather in Orangeville because it's always very cold here. We are in a snow belt. Today I'd like to share with you my palm devotional extracted from Titus 3 verse 15. He saved us not because of the righteous thing we had done, but because of his mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us a new birth and a new life through the Holy Spirit. Here's my poem. Salvation through God's mercy. We can never achieve our own salvation. He washed away our sins through his sanctification. He saved us not because of the righteous thing we have done. He ransomed our sins through Christ Jesus, his only begotten son. We can never boast any works we are doing. His mercy is given freely to those who are trusting. He gave us new birth and new life through His Spirit. We have to be thankful and grateful as we receive it. Here's my essay. I used to work at my own salvation. I didn't understand mercy and grace then. I grew up being taught that performing works for God is the only way I was going to be saved. Just like how I was conditioned to perform well in school to attain my parents' approval, I also thought that God was the same way with me. The Bible tells us that He saved us not because of the righteous things we do, but because of God's mercy. He washed our sins away and gave us new life through the Holy Spirit, who convicts us when we do wrong and correct us so we can be righteous in Christ. Prayer. Lord, thank you for saving me. Reflection, how can mercy and grace change our thinking? Um, as a, an insight, I'd like to answer that reflection question. I think that when we focus on the gift that God has given us by giving His mercy and His grace for us to do things that um, he, we can only do with Him, um, it changes, it makes us more humble, it makes us more loved, it makes us um, focus on Him instead of the me or the us. Um, it makes us see the magnitude of the glory of God. It makes us um, see how weak we are without Him. It makes us uh, pure in in in. in uh, giving glory to the right uh, person who needs to be glorified. Um, it, it, it removes all our worldly thinking which focuses mostly on what we desire for ourselves. And it focuses instead, it gives you back to um, looking up to God who is the only uh, person who can give us everything we want and Thanks for watching and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day.